Hello everyone, welcome to my screen test review of Ubuntu 10.10 .10 Maverick Meerkat. I have been a Linux user for around 7 or 8 months now and I have uh, been pretty impressed by the OS. Well, uh, at first of all for new users, this is also a part 1 of the series that I am going to start showing you um, about the uses of Linux and stuff and most of the users are attracted to Linux at first because of the compass fusion you know you don't know what the compass fusion is then it's this see the desktop flying around four desktops many more like this and uh, probably the water effect this one's really annoying I forget that mm. and, uh, and stuff like that uh, Linux is much more than just compass it's a lot uh, more powerful than most OS, uh, OSs you, you must have used because I have been a uh, Windows user for a long part of my life and also used Mac for around 2 years or something and uh, nothing was as in impressive as Linux uh, li Ubuntu uh, you might have heard as 10.10 release it's not just Ubuntu it's K uh, Kubuntu as it's called and uh, X Ubuntu and more these are just desktops environments uh, Ubuntu is a GNOME desktop environment well I, I, I won't go into detail in this one uh, it's basic as this one the these are the menus the applications uh, lists all the applications and uh, unlike Windows or Mac it's much more categorized and very well placed see in the accessories you have the Cairo dock which I am running now Tomboy notes which is useful to keep small notes screenshots and terminal terminal I will go to this it's a very powerful tool one of the most important tools in Linux games you can add games and all I will show you how office you can use the open office instead of uh, Microsoft office and it's free and uh, uh, you can it's fully compatible with Microsoft office you can install web browsers and I'll show you how installing softwares in Linux is very easy and again just like Linux is for free so we'll go to the Ubuntu software center this is the most user fr friendly of uh, all software installing programs in Linux you can see even over here it's pretty well categorized and uh, uh, very nice to use you can install everything you don't have to search for pirated software and all because you'll get everything for free legally on over here like GIMP which is an image editor which you would like to use if you've been using Photoshop and stuff and uh, as for gamers because uh, the one who requested uh, this video was uh, live for the game 2 on uh, YouTube and uh, he was a uh, Windows Vista user I, I believe he wanted to upgrade and if you want to run Windows games and uh, Windows software you'll need this wine which is easily available for free you can just click here and install it's as easy as that and you can run all Windows applications unlike Mac in which you'll need uh, see you can't run Windows applications on Mac and so uh, and this is the same thing with Ubuntu so you uh, so you'll need that but as you start using Linux you will find that it's really powerful and really fun to use and uh, this is my channel I would like it if you all subscribe to me because I'm going to make a series on uh, an introduction to Linux for users who are just starting to use Linux and this this was the person who requested me this video uh, you can check out his channel too and uh, as of now this is the only thing you can uh, get Ubuntu uh, Ubuntu Linux from Ubuntu.com and uh, there are quite a few options so I'll uh, make it clear to you uh, right uh, right away so it's really super fast the perfect 10 as it's called you, you go here you click Ubuntu uh, suggested ways to install Ubuntu see you can choose from which 32 bit or 64 bit whichever you like Ubuntu 10.04 uh, 10 is still supported because it's a long term support so it will be supported for years you can click here 
and uh, download the ISO and then write it onto a CD and if you are a Windows user you can also use Ruby. Ruby is very good you can install Ubuntu just like you would install any normal program and uh, it's quite safe and I, this was the, this will be the one I'll suggest for most of you users if you are using Windows that is or you can burn it onto a CD and uh, install it onto your computer well uh, this is it for today and uh, happy happy uh, Linuxing whatever we call it and uh, have fun with Linux install it and I'll be teaching you more well you can hear some sounds right behind me because it's festival time in India and I'm here and I wasn't going to make this uh, because it would be quite no noisy outside and it is so i'll continue next time till then hit subscribe